Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel Star Creator Starco Gaming Air back with another Marvel Fusion Fighter video guys today we're gonna take a look at Mr. Gladiator testing out in Wobos Ultimate and Shadow Land to see what he can achieve obviously this is gonna be a PvE review guys if you wanna use it in PvP build him with the regen and he's still gonna kick ass on manual play in PvP but uh, on this channel, we tend to just cover the PV side of things, so I renamed the review PV review, so it's more obvious for you guys. So we're gonna take a look at this guy, thanks to my friend Juggling, who actually maxed out a level 70 gear 25 and a couple blessings too. We're actually gonna be able to see the real power of this character, but before we get into that, guys, let's take a look at the sponsor of this video. Check the link in the description and find your favorite hoodies and tees now. Okay guys, so first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna take a look at the build. We're gonna talk about the skills, the skill rotation, and then we're gonna jump into uh, Wall Boss Ultimate, which we're gonna try Proxima and Corvus. Then we're gonna jump in Shadowland, which is close to stage 100, I think. So we're gonna be able to see uh, where he actually stand power-wise, pretty much. So we have him set up as a lead in this team here. So we do get his 55% increase of all attack in the bonus stats here. So you're gonna see a lot more attack than we will usually get if we did not have a lead for him. So here we go. We have max cooldown, max ignore defense, and max critical rate. Uh, max dodge rate I mean critical rate is under the cap but that's because you get critical rate from uh, from a skill 195 percent the critical damage 122 percent attack speed and uh, almost 40,000 uh, physical attack which is it's pretty nice uh, with leadership obviously also he has the leadership ability so you can actually use white fox with him which is actually very very useful if you're trying to push higher stage in wall boss ultimate if we look at the gear here you can see it's mostly a mythical uh, hero with two blessings which those blessings gives this one give physical attack and cooldown and this one physical attack and critical damage and gear are all 25 as you can see uh, easel sets a fully awakened power of angry oak easel set so we get 8.5 percent all attack all defense critical rate 8.1 percent ignore defense and 7.7 percent .7 attack speed with a 40 percent damage proc on the easel set custom gear we have a ctp of rage 23.2 percent critical rate 26.3% dodge rate and we have uh, the max stats which is 0.9% per 1% dodge rate and critical rate and uh, Ingor boss damage decrease by 60% he has no uniform and now the skills this character does not have an awakening skill so we're gonna be uh, aiming for stage 70 in the world boss ultimate I think we if we can do stage 70 really easy that means this character is actually pretty solid PV wise until it gets either his tier 2.5 skill or tier 3 skills so we're going to take a look at his tier 2 passive versus tier 2 passive uh, 1 HP is built 99% applied to self 5% recovery on max HP so it's like the uh, healing factor of uh, Wolverine so this guy has great survivability unless you get one shot uh, his tier 1 passive he has a super armor all defense increase by 40% increase skill damage by 30% increase bonus damage by 40 percent decrease all damage received by 40 percent which is actually pretty great uh, we just saw his leadership 55 percent increase of all that which is a very great leadership and it does apply to all lies so just for the leadership he is an amazing character now if we look at the skills first skills is uh, as a silence so if you want to do a lens spell extreme with this guy it's actually possible or use him in the team at, as a lead for namer and then use him a team with namer uh, you can actually do a rotation if you build him properly to increase your score in lens spell extreme uh hero day uh combat hero but uh, it's more uh it's more struggle than actually successful in most of the cases uh, second skill we have a stun we have decrease of all speed third skill we have the accumulated damage based on damage dealt to enemies we also get a two second freeze which not doesn't work against wall boss ultimate and we do get immunity for all damage uh, for four seconds which is great 
fourth skill a uh, fourth skill will apply burn damage will increase all attack all defense by 40 percent speed by one percent and here you see the critical rate by 40 percent so that's why we don't actually need the critical rate on uh the stat sheet to be 75 percent to have the cap for the rage uh, and this is actually in my opinion the damage that the the skill that does the most damage when we talk about the rotation in a few minutes uh we're gonna explain that a little bit better better and there you have the fifth skill Burn damage, stun, incapacitation, and defense down up to 60%. Works on wall boss ultimate. 100% chance to penetrate with super armor, barrier, shield, all damage immune, invisible effect, and invincibility for 5 seconds. So, uh, very, very, very great skill here, definitely. Now, if we talk about rotation, well, the first thing in the rotation that's very important is to apply the accumulated damage. You want to apply your accumulated damage, then you want to cancel these skills right away. And you want to jump into the fifth skill. Now, when you jump in the fifth skill, it's to apply that defense down, obviously. Uh, so, the fifth skill on the proc trigger on that skill, you're going to cancel with the fourth skill. Now, that is if you run with a rage. If you run with the CTP of energy on normal proc, you do not want to trigger the proc on the fifth skill. You want to cancel your fifth skill and trigger your proc on the fourth skill, but with a rage, you want to trigger the proc on the fifth skill so you can have the full benefit during the fourth skill. You're going to let the fourth skill go, then you're going to go second skills and first skills to get a little bit of extra damage, and that's pretty much how you play them. So basically, uh, the rotation looks like the following it's three, cancel five, wait for proc, cancel four, two, one with CDP of Rage. For CDP of Energy or Normal Damage Proc, the rotation will be 3, Cancel 5, Cancel 4, Proc 2, 1. And then repeat the rotation. That is pretty much what the rotation will be for uh, both setup, pretty much. So next, guys, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to start with Shallow Land here. You can see we got we are up to stage 97. Um, this is actually a floor we can do with him. So, oh wait, it does have burn damage. Yeah, fire element won't work here. So I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna waste my buddy gold. <laughs> Bell hero, oh that actually doesn't work well for him. So let's go in there, combat gladiator, no team. Let's screw up with his boxes. <laughs> And let's just and get this shit done really easy. So we're gonna start with the third skill. Like I said, third, five. The prog got triggered, so we're gonna chain with the fourth skill here. You can see the power of this guy. It is actually quite ridiculous. This stage is one of the hardest one to do in Shallow End. That's actually quite ridiculous how easy we're getting this done. And not triggered proc yet. Okay, now that's gonna be a perfect one. The proc did not trigger, so we're getting it late in that rotation, which can always happen sometimes, obviously. Same thing here, but still, don't need proc. 53 seconds, stage 97, guys. Uh, on the <laughs> that floor which is has very very high HP and resistance compared to other floors so a normal speed floor I could have done that in like 30 seconds and that is a tier 2 characters no awakening skill uh, <laughs> no tier 3 nothing uh, with the CTP of rage build to, to tell but still uh, I have to say that is one of the strongest tier 2 character in Shadowland at this point which is actually quite amazing I did not expect that guys I did not expect that kind of power. <laughs> okay, so here we're going to jump against uh, Proxima first. We're going to go on the stage. I said 70, but let's go with 75. We're not going to kill it, guys, because uh, I don't want to ruin this wall boss of the day. I already ruined the shell, and that's enough for one day. So we're going to get Proxima down to maybe 3 or 5 bars, and then we're going to go in Corvus and do the same thing. Uh, it doesn't matter if we don't kill the wall boss, it's just to see where the timer is going to be standing uh, when we reach that 3 or 5 bar, pretty much. That's what's important. So we're not bringing defense down strikers, already has defense down by himself. So we're going to bring some CC and the 4 characters that will increase the damage done de dealt to super villain type character, pretty much.
and the rotation is going to be the same and we're going to try to stay alive and not messed up here usually when we record we usually messed up so that's probably going to be interesting uh, <laughs> just see me when i do shell on my on my stream see we're starting with the terrible star here Uh, I it's switched our rotation a little bit because uh, the purple skill actually trigger my fifth skill so I did not really need it you can see the damage is great and I'm not sure I'm doing the perfect rotation either guys if you tested other rotation that does better than mine as always guys feel free to let me know in the comment section as it's always nice to improve the gameplay on the channel no matter what character we are playing. Now the, the proc is really, really off sync right now. So we're going to try to reset. Oh, well, it's not going to be that hard to reset. We're up to that phase. Now it's actually perfect timing. And there we go. We got one shot. That's the skill I did not want to get touched by. <laughs> that's star cool in the recording, guys. Hey, that's that's a nice thing though with those reviews the way we're doing it is that you guys see it. If I do a mistake, you actually see uh, that everybody does mistakes. So if you guys do mistake when we do you do your run, uh, that's totally normal. Everybody does mistakes sometimes. Okay, let's see if we can get a better proc sequences here. hate when I get stunned like that. We're sure doing getting a lot a better damage here. Now that's that's the problem with Proxno is that if she she jumped back she literally screwed up her rotation which is quite annoying. Cool. Awesome. Oops. Why did I jump in there again? Oh boy. Yep. Yep. I got screwed there. I didn't see that purple shit coming. Okay, so we're gonna go <laughs> one more around here. Uh, I gotta pay more attention. I definitely gotta pay more attention because uh, I'm looking terrible in this video so far. <laughs> Not just my face, but my gameplay for ants. Usually my gameplay is a little bit better than that. <laughs> okay, let's see how we can do this here. I'm running away. We did not get a proc here. We really suck. Now we're too far away. I hate that. I used the second skill and the first skill before the proc this time uh, just to help trigger the proc by the way guys because the fifth skill did not trigger that proc well you can see the damage is pretty great and again I'm not even sure I'm doing it properly you know this is my first day playing this character so probably doing uh, something around the rotation usually that's usually what people tells me okay let's trigger that let's move come on do it girl so I can wreck you up after that or you can wreck me up again with bad shit and here we go again <laughs> <laughs> but anyway guys you can see the damage the damage is a very very great but uh when you use that fifth skill and then uh was it the fifth skill or the fourth skill i think it was the fourth skill yeah it is the fourth skill and then without the um sfx on you kind of lose track of what's going on because uh you go in the black state which I hate those black state. By black state, I mean the screen becomes black. You don't see anything. 
and you actually uh, you know have no idea what's going on underground so I do hate those states because you lose track of what's going on you don't see if purple shit is coming so it can be very very dangerous to be honest that's one thing that netmobile should be changing uh, I do hate that every character that has that uh, Deadpool is one of them uh, every single character that has that kind of animation it's pretty much a, uh, a kick in the balls because it doesn't matter if the character is good if you don't if you cannot see what's coming for you uh, when you get out that skill you're pretty much dead that's what happened in the last try I popped my fourth skill fourth skill got over I was dead because I never seen the purple stuff coming for me so that's kind of the where uh, I'm not really a bad, big fan of that fourth skill uh, or those kind of skills to be honest I don't know if you guys feel the same way about it than me but I really really hate those skill animation that you don't see what's going on on the screen uh, next guys we're gonna go on the stage 75 against chorus uh, we're gonna see what we can do here try and find a team with uh, that I already have that Okay, so here we're gonna go combat, and this time I'm gonna be smart. We're gonna avoid the bleeding by bringing Wasp in the team. And we're gonna need three in your dodge strikers. One, two, three, and two attack strikers, so that seems great. So let's go with the setup, and let's go test this out uh, a little bit. So the first two that I had against Proxima was my fault. Let's be honest about that, guys. That was definitely my fault. But the, the last death we actually got about Proxima, it was really the fact that the screen turned black and we cannot see anything that was happening. And pretty much fourth skill finish in there. We're laying there dead underground. Nothing to, that we could actually done to actually avoid that. So again, I really, really hate that part. And against Corvus is going to be a bit different because there's no purple tracking stuff like that that can actually kill you one shot. It's really about paying attention to what Corvus is doing. So it's a little bit easier. But at some point when he does the multi purple spears, that can actually happen too. So we're going to have to wait and see uh, how it goes here. But usually it's easier to track that kind of stuff up uh, against uh, this guy. Okay, give me a proc. Or don't give me a proc, I guess. Or don't use the skill I'm pressing the button for. <laughs> so that was great. Damage doesn't, doesn't seem that bad, but it doesn't seem that great either for that floor. Okay, now this is coming. Let's try and not die. We are doing a video. Okay, we got... That That was bull. We got debuff removal, but we still got frozen in place. You saw me turn yellow. That was bullshit. That is exactly why I bring debuff removal, so we can do this video without getting time frozen and shit like that. That's fun terrible video guys let's all be honest this is terrible video but hey we're having some fun that's what's important yeah actually I'm getting to see the pro and the cons of this character which is also great because it's not about always about uh, what the character can do optimally it's always about what can happen with that character when you play it like not getting a proc here that's that's always fun I wish those proc wears guaranteed proc. Well, that's been like 20 seconds without proc now. That's that's fun time. <laughs> These another one. Yep. Oh, we finally get a proc. So two rotation and three quarter without proc. That was really really fun. And now we are too far away. This is a terrible run. That's that's for sure. But. That's fine, I can turn around really fast in the end. Okay, so it's the fifth skill that... Okay, the fourth skill turns black screen too. So fifth skill and fourth skill... Oh, I almost got screwed up here. Yeah, just kill me, I don't care. <laughs> oh, I actually get a proc trigger here. Sweet. Now it's time to die. Watch me.
Watch me die like a noob. And it looks like without Coulson, this guy has having a really, really, really huge issue in getting his proc trigger. I think it is guaranteed a critical rate from Coulson is uh, really, really good against wall boss ults, but it might actually be better than bringing White Fox against wall boss ultimate. So many rotation without proc. This is uh, pretty damn bad. With some of the time to butt him, I was expecting faster stage 75 here, to be honest. I was definitely expecting faster than that. So it's a little bit of a letdown so far. So far, it's really seemed that these characters will really shine in Shaolin and PvP, but not so much in Wall Boss Ultimate, to be honest. That's pretty much a feeling I'm getting. Oops. I almost got myself killed there. I triggered that proc is just not happening. <laughs> it's just not happening. <laughs> it is pretty bad. So this is one of those characters that if you don't have guaranteed critical rate with him, uh, a good chance that you're not gonna proc. So that was like almost 30 seconds without proc here. That was pretty bad. With better proc, we could have done this for, but without decent proc, yes, this is not gonna happen, sadly. And I'm not really uh, impressed with his damage here, in, at least in, in Wall Boss Ultimate. Yeah, you know, very amazing um, damage in Shaolin, but in the Wall Boss Ultimate, I am not impressed with it. Great survival ability, though. Well, except against Proxima. But yeah, I am not impressed with the character so far. I don't know how you guys feel about him. You know, everybody has a different opinion, but personally, that is all I feel about him. I am not impressed, guys. The stage 75 should have been, you know, uh, one and done here. That should have been the one and done, easy peasy, but uh, that did not happen. Uh, well, the first run was a little bit of my fault, but I mean, the second run, that should have been a lot, a lot faster than that. So, damage-wise, I'm not impressed with him. Now, if I'm doing something wrong, guys, with the skill rotation, please let me know. As always, I'm not perfect. I might not be doing the proper skill rotation. But, um, you know, the skill rotation was only just fine in Channel Lens, I guess. It's maybe he's just not made to be uh, good in the Wall Boss Ultimate. But... Again, he is a great PvP character. If you want to build him for PvP, go ahead. He's a great channel and character. We'll be able to get you a few wall boss ultimate stage 50 plus done. But for a uh, you know a epic quest character tier two native, I was expecting uh, a little bit more than that, to be honest. I don't know how you guys feel. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but PvE wise, I was definitely expecting more 
than that from him anyway guys i want to hear your comment feedback and question in the comment section as always guys make sure to go in there and say or ask whatever you gotta ask guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel drop a like on this video don't forget we stream monday through saturday 7 p.m on twitch link is in the description down below so guys thank you for watching hopefully you had a good time in this video and hopefully i get to see you again next time